So in this video, we're going to talk about how to divide polynomials using synthetic division. So here I have the same division problem done using long division and synthetic division. You can see that synthetic division doesn't involve as much writing because what we do is we focus in on the coefficients of the dividend and we use that to complete all the division steps. Um, in long division, we write out everything, including the variables. But the difference here is that synthetic division only works for certain types of division problems, but long division we can use for any type of division. So let's look a little more closely at synthetic division and see what the steps are. So to start off, you want to make sure your dividend is in standard form. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have all your terms and they are in order. So we have cubed, squared, and then linear, and then constant terms. So this is in standard form. So what we do now is we focus in on the coefficients of the variables, and we just go ahead and write them out as the first row in our synthetic division. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the divisor. Okay, so we're going to look at this x minus 2. So the divisor should be in x minus r form. That's one of the requirements for synthetic division. So if we think about this as x minus r, that means that r is going to equal 2. So what we do is we take that 2 and we place it right here in the first row in this little like partial box. So then what we do is we copy down the first coefficient. Okay, So we take this 2, which is our first coefficient, and we just write it down in the last row. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this number that we just wrote down, multiply it by r in the box, and then add it to the next coefficient. Okay, so here what it is, I took this 2, multiplied by 2, and I got 4. Then I did 3 plus 4, and that's how I got my next value, which is 7. Then you repeat. Okay, so then you take this 7, multiply by 2, and you get 14, and then you add that to negative 11. That's how we get 3. Okay, then repeat again. So we have 3 times 2, and that's how we get the 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So now we need to interpret these values. Okay, so the last number will represent the remainder. So in this case, you can see we have 0 as our last value. Okay, and since it's a remainder, that's why I've put this box around it. So if it's 0, then there's no remainder. All the other values represent the coefficients of the quotient, and the quotient will be a depressed polynomial. What I mean by a depressed polynomial is it'll have a degree one less than the original. Okay, so notice that this original polynomial was a cubic polynomial, right? So that means that my answer will be a quadratic. So that's how I know to start with x squared. x squared will get the first coefficient. Okay, then I go in order, right? Then I have an x term that gets the second coefficient. And then the last value, that 3, will be constant term. So just some problem solving tips and tricks before we get into some examples. So if our divisor is in the form x minus r, okay, the value in the box will be r, which is a positive number. Okay, so it's like the opposite sign of what you see in the divisor. So if it's a minus here, it's going to be a positive value. If it's in the form x plus r, then the value in the box will be negative r. Okay, so if we have a plus sign, then the value in the box is negative. So for example, if we're doing this first division problem here, you can see my divisor is x minus 2. So that means that the value that goes in the box is going to be 2. In the second problem here, you can see my divisor is x plus 3. So that means the value that goes in the box is going to be a negative 3. Another important tip to remember is that we always want to write the dividend in standard form and add in zeros for any skipped terms. So for example, if we had this here as our dividend, notice that it's out of order. So I'm going to start off by rearranging it. So it's 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6. And then I want to make sure that I didn't skip any terms of any degree. Well, I have a cubic term, I have a square term, but then I skipped an x term, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and add that in. So I have 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 0x and then plus 6. So I need to make sure and do that before I go ahead and write down these coefficients and go ahead and do my synthetic division, okay? Um, and just to review, since this is an x plus 1, the value that's going to go in the box is going to be a negative 1. So another problem solving tip to remember is that the divisor must be in the form x minus r for synthetic division to work, okay? So that means the coefficient of x must be 1 and the divisor must be a linear binomial, okay? 
So if not, you need to use long division or division by factoring to solve the problem. So for example, if we see this here, we have a divisor in x minus r form, so we can use synthetic division. Here you see we're dividing by a trinomial and it's a quadratic, so we cannot use synthetic division. So here are all our steps, okay? So start off as always making sure a dividend is in standard form and add in zeros for skipped terms. Then we set up our table for synthetic division and write down the coefficients of the dividend. Remember now we need to determine the value of r that's going to go in that box in the upper left hand corner. Then we bring down the coefficient, then we multiply it by r and add it to the next coefficient. We'll repeat this process until we have no coefficients remaining, and then we'll use the values in the final row to write our quotient. Remember the final value in the last row represents our remainder, and all other values represent the coefficients of the depressed polynomial. So let's now use synthetic division to divide this and figure out the answer. So notice here my uh, dividend is in standard form and I have no skipped terms. So I'm going to go ahead and write out my coefficients. Remember if there's no coefficient there, that coefficient is a 1. So this is going to be 1, negative 6, 10, and negative 8. So this is x minus r, so that means that 4 is going to be the value in this box. So I'm going to start off by bringing down that first coefficient, so that 1, and then we have 4 times 1, which is 4. Now we do negative 6 plus 4, so that's going to be negative 2, and then we do 4 times negative 2, which is negative 8. Now we do 10 plus negative 8, which is 2, and we do 4 times 2, which is 8. Negative 8 plus 8 gives me 0, so I know that I have a remainder of 0 in this problem. Okay, so now let's write our quotient. Notice that this is a cubic, so the highest degree in my depressed polynomial is going to be squared. Okay, it always goes down by 1. All right, so here are the coefficients. So the first coefficient is 1, so that's 1x squared minus 2x, and then I have plus 2. So since we usually don't write coefficients of 1, I'm just going to rewrite this as x squared minus 2x plus 2. So that is my answer. Now you can go ahead and pause the video and try doing this example on your own. So here we have a dividend that is in standard form without any skipped terms. So we just go ahead and copy down the coefficients. So we have 1, negative 2, negative 13, and negative 10. We start off by bringing down the 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Two, negative 2 plus negative 1 is negative 3. And then negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. Negative 13 plus 3 is negative 10. Negative 1 times negative 10 is positive 10. Negative 10 plus 10 is 0, so we have no remainder. Remember, the depressed polynomial will have a highest degree term of x squared because it goes down by 1. So 1x squared is just x squared, and then minus 3x, and then we have minus 10. So now let's use synthetic division to divide this problem. So we have um, our original dividend is in standard form without any skipped terms, so I'm just going to copy down the coefficients. Um, and then look at this, we have x plus 2, so x minus r means that r is going to be negative 2. So I go ahead and bring down my 3, and then negative 2 times 3 is going to be negative 6. Negative 9 plus negative 6 is going to be negative 15. Now I do negative 15 times negative 2, which is positive 30. Negative 20 plus positive 30 is 10. So that 10 is going to be my remainder. So here, the highest degree on my dividend is x squared. So that means that my answer, the highest degree, is just going to be x. The coefficient of x is going to be 3, so I have 3x minus, and then 15 is going to be my constant. Since I have a remainder, remember I can write it as plus 10, and then put that over the divisor, x plus 2. Okay, so that's how you can write your answer. If you want to, you can also write 3x minus 15, and then do remainder 10. Either way is fine. Now you can go ahead and pause the video and try doing this example on your own. So here the dividend is in standard form and we have no skipped terms, so we're going to copy down the coefficients. So we have 2, 4, negative 3, negative 6. So we start off by copying down 2. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. 6 plus negative 3 is 3. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Negative 6 plus negative 9 is negative 15. So we have a remainder of negative 15. So we can write our answer as 2x squared 
minus 2x and then plus 3 and then minus 15, that's going to go over the divisor, which is x plus 3. Now let's use synthetic division to divide this problem. Well, notice here my dividend is in standard form, but I have some skipped terms, right? So I have x to the fourth. The next term should be x cubed, but that's not there. So I'm going to say 0x cubed minus 17x squared. Next term should be an x term, but it's not there. So I'm going to add in a 0x and then I have plus 15. So since this is an x plus 4, my r is going to be negative 4, so I'm going to put a negative 4 up in this corner, and I'm going to copy down my coefficients. x to the 4th, remember, has a coefficient of 1, so we have 1, 0, negative 17, 0, and 15. I'm going to start off by copying down 1. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. 0 plus negative 4 is negative 4, and negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. Negative 17 plus 16 is negative 1. Negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. 0 plus 4 is 4, and then 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. 15 plus negative 16 is negative 1. Okay, so now let's look at our original dividend, okay? It is a fourth degree polynomial. So the depressed polynomial is going to have one less degree, so that's going to be x cubed. It has a coefficient of 1, okay? Next coefficient, so we're going to have minus 4x squared, and then we have minus 1x, and we have now plus 4. We also have a remainder, so we have minus 1 over the divisor, which is x plus 4. I'm just going to rewrite this without those coefficients of 1, because, you know, we usually don't write those in algebra, so... I'm just going to make this a little bit better, and then we have our remainder like that, okay? So that is our answer. So now you can go ahead and pause the video and try doing this example on your own. So here you can see it is in standard form, but we don't have um, our skip terms, right? We need to add in that 0x squared, and I also added in this coefficient of 1. Since it's x minus 2, the 2 is going to be the value of r, so we bring down 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 plus 0 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, 18 minus 3 is 15. So 15 is our remainder. So this has an original um, highest degree term of x cubed, so it comes down 1, so it's going to be x squared. So we have 2x squared and then plus 4x plus 9, and then plus our remainder, which is 15 over x minus 2. So remember that synthetic division can be used to divide a polynomial by a linear binomial in the form x minus r. It is a method that involves working with the coefficients of the dividend and the value of r.